finished, it's time to remind ourselves once again of our top three. Leclerc, Sainz and George Russell. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world-famous Monte Carlo Casino that first opened in 1863. And, of course, a certain road race first held in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. We already see the lowest average speeds of the season here at the Circuit de Monaco, and they'll be even lower in the difficult conditions today. 19 corners make up this famous two-mile track, and with the rain, it'll be even harder than usual to get the critical heat into the tyres. So don't be surprised if we see a safety car at some point during today's Grand Prix. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Magnussen, Perez, Moore, and Norris. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty. Joe, Fernando Alonso, and Sebastian Vettel. Bottas, Ocon, Max Verstappen, and Gasly. Hamilton, Ricardo, Lance Stroll, and Yuki Tsunoda. Albon and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Now, can I get your take on Max Verstappen? That was a great win in the last race, but can they keep that momentum going into this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Okay, incredible parking there, nice one. That's going to give you the edge if you can get a good launch as the race starts. Okay, so that's the rest of the grid forming up now. Be patient and watch for those lights. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. I've got some information on Hamilton for you. Okay, they're out of this race.
Come rubber and bring it home. That's it then for another nail-biting Monaco Grand Prix. We were on the edge of our seats the whole time, but they've come through to take a stunning victory. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. Charles Leclerc's points today take him to the top of the championship standings. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? It's an interesting one today. On balance, I think I have to call out Alexander Albon, a really solid drive from him today and one that he and his team should be proud of. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One.
I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. The marketing department has requested your input on this one. Not an easy decision, but you handled it well. Thanks. <laughs> 